Hi folks, uh, right I'll uh, start with the basics, a bit of MDF, 2mm with uh, oh, gessoed, I won't fit the frame, it's going over the edges here. Uh, right, we'll start with the back, this I'm going to stick on my board here, I'll put four bits of uh, blue tack, now I didn't invent this, I saw someone else do it, so I thought what a good idea. Because you, you can then get to the, uh, the side of what you're working on without getting, getting uh, caught up in a pallet. So this is just one piece of old hardboard, Oops. which I've just painted over. And I've stuck this bit of, or taped this bit of grease roof paper over the black background or the dark background. <coughs> I've got a little gesso on this. It's only a small 10 by 8 inch, but I've got a bit mad with the uh, with, with the gesso. I, well, I, I gessoed it first with white, titanium white gesso, which gives a good tea, tooth for oil or, or acrylic painting. Uh, but I've gone over it with a bit more PVA glue and some plaster, so, you know, the crack filler plaster, which is a lot cheaper than the chalk dust I have been using. So it's got a nice, nice coat of rough gesso. There's quite a few raised areas in there, make it a bit interesting. Palette, uh, cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow pale, yellow ochre, cadmium red, ultramarine, cobalt and burnt sienna. Uh, I've been out on the bike this morning with the grandson, you can hear him with playing in the, in the paddling pool with his friend. We've had a very hot four days in, in Europe, as you know. We've got to to 38 degrees centigrade, well about 100 degrees Fahrenheit yesterday. It's too hot to do anything. We, we were out, we went to, out for lunch with, to meet friends at my sister's house. And today it's a much, much cooler. We've had a lot of rain, which is lovely, which we do need. But we've been out on the bike by John Paul, that's my grandson and I, uh, along the track from Beddington Park. It's called the Beddington, Beddington Farmlands. It's not farming, it's, a, it's been quarried for its gravel. They've flogged all the gravel, gravel off, flogged, sold all the gravel off, and they've allowed the quarries themselves to fill with water, and it, they're, make, they're making a, a water park. Well, for two years, the path that I used to cycle down, get my blackberries and cherry plums, has been, uh, has been closed, but now it's been reopened, and they've added some bird hides to the lakes. And it's very, very lovely. So I want to do an abstract. I don't want to copy a photograph. I just want to try to do something different. And uh, when I when I try to do something different, I usually go to a favourite of mine, Jackie Gardner. Now, she's on Facebook, probably on Google. I haven't looked. But she's a Scottish artist. She's a fantastic abstract, or I call it abstract impressionism. And most of her paintings have got a have got a handle on the landscape or the seascape but she does some wonderful things and gives me some great ideas. So you never stop learning, we learn from each other. Plenty of people learn from me. So I, I just want to do a, a memory sort of abstract of what I viewed through the viewfinder and the, in the big hides. Very nice because it's raining and the, 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 three, the three that they've erected are big, got a shingle path going down to them. They've got corrugated uh, iron uh, roofs, so we can take shelter. It's really lovely. Loads of blackberries. We come back loaded. So stewed blackberries, stewed cherry plums, lovely. Anyway, painting. So let's uh, we'll invest. We'll, we'll uh, put a sky in. And now it's sort of cloud and nice bit of focus. Okay, let's. Uh, oh, this is a bit of that. Uh, Medium, uh, the medium. Refined linseed oil with, with some uh, alkyd resin, fast drying stuff in. So these paints dry over a couple of days. It's nice thick oil paint, but um, the great thing with it is that it, as distinct from acrylic. It uh, just 
dries and, you, and as you work on it, it, it goes a bit tacky so that it will take more paint. So I'm just, I'm just putting some light sky in and then we'll put some heavier stuff. Uh, right, okay, I'm going to put some white out because I think I'm going to use quite a bit on this little painting. I cut four boards, I think yesterday, a couple of days ago, and primed them all with the gesso. And I'm using different sort of layers of gesso, We're adding things to, to it. Right, now that's my white brush, I'll keep that separate. I've got another one of these uh, lovely gra graduate brushes, I don't think I've used that one. But I'm going to now. So we'll have a, let's have a bit of, um, I'm going to use a bit of black. I like black. It's a great shortcut to greens and, and to sort of dark blue-grey skies, clouds. I also like burnt umber, but I have, I have got some of that. I'm going to use some black with a bit of, this side, a bit of, bit of ultramarine, a bit of black in there to darken it. Let's take some of that white. And then with a bit of uh, medium, and we'll just bung it on. A bit more black. White, bit of uh, medium. So it's just too coming out too blue. I've got some cabin, not some cabin, some uh, cobalt blue, which I might or might not use. But I just want to get some. Kind of, you can hear the boys out there. They're, they're both eleven. They do feed off each other. They've got to. We blew the paddling pool up. But it was, it was very warm yesterday, but it's not so warm now. I'm fairly low horizon, but I'm going to try and abstract a lake in there somewhere, somehow. All right, go back to my lighter brush, and we'll add some some of this yellow ochre white. I, I, it's lovely, just, just let him rip with a brush. Not copying a photograph, but but just plodging the, just plodging the paint around. Copying from photograph is, is fine if that's what you want to do, but we all do it. But um, is it art? With this, it's sort of impressionist. Um, oh dear, no, that's not right, is it? Don't like that. Go and modify that. I'll put a lake in, I'll put a bright landscape in. Uh, we'll have some, some light down, down the bottom. It won't show yet because there's no dark for it to show against. When you're experienced, you, you can judge the tones because things, every tone that you put on white looks lighter. So you tend to overcompensate and make the, and make the uh, your paint lighter to compensate but when you end up with a very very light painting right um, just a touch of that ochre coming in there oh that's getting quite dramatic I've, I've, I've made a mistake with that yellow ochre in there i wanted that to be just very slightly yellow ochre so i just got back some ultramarine and black a bit of black, a bit of white, a little bit of cobalt in there as well. It's to make your brush strokes lively rather than measured you know, or, or lifeless. Uh, it's good. Oh, I just started all over the place, just trying to get a sky. You never know what you're going to end up with. I've got some nice light clouds down here. We'll change that there. I'll go back to that and let's dry it off a little bit. Put a little bit of bit of, uh, of that colour on 
on the horizon, a bit, bit of cloud maybe, but faint. They're playing with great big water pistol or guns. They're, they're really good. Okay. Right now I'm going to put a bit of a bit of background. I'm not going to complete the background. I'm making a painting rather than, as I say, a, an accurate copy of anything. Now my favourite, one of my favourite greens is uh, burnt sienna, uh, ultramarine. Makes a rich dark. Then put some some yellow in it. So we there's a bit coming on the uh, horizon here. Just let that just so do its work. A bit of red in there. I'm creating a painting. It's a it's a funny thing, but we know that. Uh, We've got to copy a photograph exactly until we learn that you don't have to copy it exactly. You can paint what you like. You create a, you create a, a living work of art that's highly personal to you. I, I don't mind working from other artists because they work for me. No, let's go, I'll just get a bit in there, a bit of yellow. Ah, oh, I tell you, Mum. Right, oh, I'm quite happy with that. Now I'm going to put a put a, 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 some foliage, my grasses and stuff in front of that. I'm going to buy more of these brushes. As you know, I I, I clean my brushes at the end of the painting session in Swarfiga, then with some. Dishwasher liquid, soap. Alright, now there, I've got my front my this is a, a, another bright. <clears throat> right now I'm going to put in some, some really good 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 yellow uh, but I want it slightly green. So a bit of white. Pretty medium. Oh, yummy. Luscious. Oh, somehow I'll work up some water. Let's just drink some of that down. Until they have just happy accident. Uh, a bit of red. In there. Let's just change. Oil painting is, is a fantastic medium, that's why we use it, it's uh, great. But if you've got a problem with breathing, I wouldn't recommend using fluids. I've managed to work, my, develop a, my technique away from using those sort of mediums, the petrochemical mediums. They ain't no good. Oh, let's, go, let's, let's get that nice colour in there. A bit of red, a bit of orange. A bit of, a bit of blue in there. Lots of reeds and stuff they planted. It's, so it's, it's a bird paradise. Or ducks, geese, migrating birds. Look at them boys, it's piled it on eh? No point in putting it out and not using it. Let's take that up there, there. Right, I'm going to go, 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 go across here with, the, with these, this dark. The black, no, the blue, the yellow, the yellow, the red. Look, nice dark looks there. More red. Um, 
good boys, just, just get that coming down in the, uh, the reflection of the lake. They fall in and out of each other as friends. <laughs> Typical boys. Boisterous, lively, full of life. This could almost be uh, the boardwalk from Morden Hall Park. Let's just drag some of that down here. Before I start putting in some water. We'll get more bright, brilliant yellow. So we've got a bit of that cad yellow pale, and then another white to it. So let's get some water in there. Hope you're enjoying this. It's trying to get you away from traditional or the um, mindset of having to copy exactly. You don't need to copy the impressionists. Well, they work from photographs. Oops, wrong place. They were for photographs, okay, but they didn't copy the photographs. They just used them as a as a as a for a guide, a rough guide, making an impression. Well, let's go back to I'll go back with this brush. I think the blue brush. Plenty of medium as well, get it flowing. I wish I could make a painting of three strokes, but of course you can't. Huh? Well, I'll, put, I'll just see if I can replicate that uh, bit of cloud in, in that uh, and here. Right, well we've got a reflection in there too now, so just work on that sky there, I've got some, uh, some, of, uh, some more white out, let's just clean that clip because that'll get on my, on my uh, frame probably, if I'm not careful. Right, if you do get into, into um, acrylics or oil, you'll use more white than anything. So big tube, that's about 12, 13 pounds for, for a, a 200 milliliter tube. The most economic way to buy it, you'll use more of this in, by far than any other color. Uh, right, okay, sky, bit of sky. Now we're gonna be very bold with that sky. Now we'll put a bit of impesto. Oh, big dollop. Some noise on there, but <laughs> better annoying the neighbours. Mm. 
No, I don't want to be that dark. Mm, well, I quite like that. I could put it in the frame and we'll have a look at it and see what it's like. It's an impression of Biddington Farm land from this morning. It looks totally different to anything I've ever seen on there, but then it was meant to. A great way of helping you to loosen up, get away from tightness. But of course, you paint how you like. You can't copy, you can't le learn uh, style by copying someone else. Really, it's best to copy somebody else, but develop your own style, which will uh, develop the more you do. It'll be a natural occurrence. All right, put that in, there. Put that in the frame. Might have to use a couple of pins to just hold it in. Or not, as the case may be. Uh, no, it'll be okay. Because I uh, went over with the gesso. Now, what we've got here, uh, the frame, I've banged some veneer pins behind this bit here to keep the, the wet edge of the board off of the frame keep the paint off the off of the frame so it, it doesn't stick in the frame. So there we are, there's a sort of an abstract that uh, I like. Let's just straighten up that there. there. Uh, I hope you like the setup for my oil, oil painting and acrylic painting. So we've got quite a lively sky there and quite a lively landscape with lots of brush strokes. Uh, it's a, it's a feeling rather than um, a copy of anything. You see things, you see a, a, a light field or from another painting, you think, well, oh, that's lovely, I must, I'll, I'll incorporate that. Or a flash of light on the, on the, um, the water. I haven't done that, I'd probably wait till it's dry. And do that, just get a rigger and just drag it. Lots and lots of birds, well, I'm not gonna put those in, I'm not a bird painter. I wouldn't know how to do a bird. They'll probably look like sheep. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.